So this is a little uh, demo of both Razor Porter and Grub, the Allegro Grub GUI. Now Razor Porter is a graphical user interface on top of Razor, the uh, OWL reasoning engine. And what I'm going to demo is how you can work, say, with the Lubum ontology and some universities described by Lubum. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is to set up Lubum so that we can do restart reasoning. So I, I choose a file called Lubum Prepare Reasoner. I open this file and I choose a directory to work in. Um, I define some prefixes. Um, I actually will use a triple store for my data, so I don't have to read in all the, the Lubum files again. I get my data directly from Allegograph. And then I start some racer code. So let me start this up. I'm evaluating this expression. And what you now see in racer is the steps that it's going through. So the colors indicate basically the status. And we have to wait a few seconds to do the preparation. And then the next step will be that we do some queries. Um, as some of you might know, Racer is a complete description logic. It does all the reasoning that you can do in OWL, whereas Allegograph does mostly IDFF++ reasoning, given that we usually have to work on really large data sets in OWL, sometimes it's too slow. However, the drawback is that you can't do all the reasoning in Allegograph. So sometimes, if you want complete reasoning, you want to use Razor. So I'm going to demo this. So I'm going to query. So I'm going to Lubum queries.razor. If you download this evaluation version of Razor Porter, then you can also download these examples. So you can start right away. And Allegograph is already built in. So I open the queries. And I do a typical query. Say I do a sparkle, where I say select every x where x is of RDF type Lubum chair. Now the problem with this query is that it needs full OWL reasoning. So if you do it directly in um, Allegograph, it won't work. It will work in Racer. So let me show you this. So it's now working on the, uh, the answer. And what you see here is it found the answers. So I can actually look at all the query I.O. I can check any one professor here. And I can look at the A-box graph for this professor. And if I wanted to, I can expand. Now, there's not much room on the, on the screen, so you can choose a different layout. So let me say take the, cl the, the lean layout. And I've got a little bit more space to work with. So Racer, the porter, also has some capabilities of, um, of uh, navigating through your data. Uh, another nice feature of this database is you can look at the taxonomy in your data. So here you see uh, the top of your OWL Lubum ontology. And say we want to have everything, all the concepts. I click here down on all concepts. And if I want to see the entire ontology, I also click on Unbound. And what you now see here is basically the entire ontology, or at least the subclass hierarchy for um, uh, a Lubum. But let me get back to the queries that I wanted to show you. So I go back to the classic layout and uh, let me go back to the editor. And so what I showed you is that if I do this answer straight in Ray Supporter, I get an answer. If I would do this query directly in the database, I would have a problem. So let me do this. Native T here means that you don't use, you do not use um, a racer, but you use a Lego graph for the reasoning. Now, given that um, a Lego graph doesn't do full OWL reasoning, we can't in a Lego graph now do this 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 query. So let me show you this. And what you see here is I get nil back as an answer. But if we were, if Ray Supporter and Allegograph were to get work together, we actually can do this particular query. So let me show you how we do that. So I go back to the editor. And then 
in this thing that you can download too. There's some examples of advanced working. So here what we do is we materialize all the inferences in memory for Lobum and put them into a new triple store. So let me evaluate this. So here I say materialize, materialize all the inferences of all the triples that I have right now in my database. Make a new database called Lobum TS Extended. Put it in the directory demo dir. Uh, index to your, uh, your, your triples too. And so I'm going to evaluate this. And it will take a few seconds to do this. Okay, so now it's done. And now I open the database again. So I say, I open the database that we created. It's opened. And now we do the same query again that we couldn't do before. So it was the query select x, where x is of RDF type loop chair, and get the answer directly from a Lego graph. And let me make this a little bit wider. So I do this query. And now we see that we get the answers straight from uh, a Lego graph. We don't have to go through Racer. So this is one of the ways um, a Lego graph and Racer can work together. But there's another way that graph, that uh, uh, Racer and uh, Lego graph can work together. And that is by using graph for the navigation through the database that you made. So let me go to the desktop. And let's use graph to look at the database that was made by Racer. So I'm starting up graph, our graphical user interface to Allegro graph. And here is the database that was uh, created. I created, I, I've used this before, so it's already in this list. I opened it in read-only mode. And now, basically, I have everything uh, that I need. I can say I want to look at a first node in the database. I pushed the M button and say, let's look at a full professor. And let's take any professor here, professor three. So now I have the first node in my interface. I can look at it um, in the tabular view. I just hit the, the T button. And so now, you see here full professor three. Here you see the properties that this guy has, and here you see the um, his uh, well the, the the attributes and the values. Um, I can go back to some G, and I can decide how I want to go from this to um, other parts. So say I'm interested in publications that he has, the research interest, the courses that he teaches, um, and what else? Okay, this, this should do. And I say OK. And so here we see the publications that he has and the courses that he teaches. Does he actually teach a course? Yeah, he teaches a course here, course six. six. We can look at this thing. And we see the students that take this particular course. And let me go back and say, I also want to know who are the teaching assistants of this course. Um, and maybe I want to look at advisors too. Ah, takes course. Now we're here. Now we're in business. So I can click here and I get all the students. So what we saw, what we did in Porter, is that we created a new triple store um, where we took the old triple store and added all the inferenced triples to the old triple store. And um, so given that we now have these new triples, we should be able to do the query about the chair directly into a Lego graph. So I will show you that. So I take this query that we did before. We do it direct, directly in a Lego graph. From graph, and we say do query, and now we find the uh, results. And if we wanted to see this as a graph, then we would see all the professors that are actually a um, uh, a chair.